rocks and folks get wet. I was gonna say something, but now I forget. Chocolate covered cherries with the really strong black currant lip, a little bit of black lip liner, and then kind of black currant in the middle is a little bit punky. She's kind of a cool girl with this amazing black currant mouth. Gorgeous shiny skin, um, a little bit of grey shading on the eye and a little bit of pink cheek. And if you were me, you'd probably see what I'm talking about. Yeah. Talk is cheap, but I can't afford it. And count and sheep don't work anymore. The head is turning circles, but I got you, I got you. the things I like, so I like the collection. I think Angela did a very good job. I went on with something that I was trying to do already since two seasons, and so she's a multicultural girl, she's traveling a lot, and she comes back always with different references, right, from all over. And in the summer I work with a very fine, fine knit, so of course we work in fashion, so this winter I work with very heavy and voluminous and voluptuous knit, right? <laughs> There's lots of energy and the clothes are just beautiful and it's intricate and and amazing. <laughs> Working with very basic shapes like square, triangulars and rectangular, trying to drape them on the body, make them capes, dress, skirts. And what I really like is when, when one piece of garment you can wear it in different ways. So that a skirt can become a cape or a cape can become a dress, right? That's my favorite thing always. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the knitted booty, the socks booties. <laughs> I love the ethnicity, but I like the fact that it was broken down by like very modern and graphic things like the metals. It wouldn't have looked like that at all if it was all ethnical. I like the contrast of it. And I like the skin out after all the layerings of the past couple of seasons. This is different, this is pieces. We've been doing um, a black capsule in the last two years, so every fabric we make, we also make it in black. And we decided to show it this time. We don't necessarily always have to, but I think it's good for us to show that, like, you know, amazing knit can also come in black. This season, I, was, I really wanted to have this black to cut those strong color, right? And, uh, but also in pre-collection, I'm doing capsule of black and it's going to be always there. It was uh, uh, ethnical and modern at the same time. It had all the, the structure and the textures that we are all about. <laughs> I mean, it's, I really enjoyed it. It's a good collection.
she like pulled me up because uh, I guess you know I've been working on this collection. I did all the accessories, and then um, I pulled someone else up, and we all went. Because I think it's funny considering the last campaign we had and the whole family uh, thing. It was quite funny. Right?